So you have a bunch of rigid body objects set up and you wanna fill a volume like a coffee cup or jar? Sick, let's go. First, make sure you're happy with how everything is interacting with a simple collider. Add the object you wanna fill. Head over to the properties window in the physics tab and turn on the rigid body settings. Change the type to passive. Okay, that's not quite right. The cup is interacting with our falling objects as a collider, but we want the falling objects to fill the inside of the container. It's as if there's an invisible surface preventing the coffee beans from going into the cup and they're just bouncing off at the top of that surface. That's because the cup's default collision shape is set to convex hull. But we want to fill the volume of the mesh, so we want the collision shape to follow the shape of the surface of the mesh. So change the collision shape to mesh. Cool beans, but let's make them a little cooler. The beans should look like they're being poured into the mug and not just falling uniformly from above. Make an object for the beans to fall onto, then slide into the mug. Add rigid body settings. Change the type to passive and the collision shape to mesh. Then under surface response, play with the friction and bounciness settings until you're happy with how quickly the beans slide down. Set up your camera and lighting. Check your output paths and press Ctrl F12 to render. 